Hello, my name is Yonis Dizoglu. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create directories by using the cPanel and how to upload your website by using the cPanel. To get started, once you have logged on to your cPanel, click on the File Manager. Then, double click on the public underscore HTML or on www. Once you're there, you need to go to the top left corner and click on the new folder. Name your folder appropriately and click Create. Please note, avoid to put spaces in between directories by between names, sorry. Once you have created your directory, double click your directory and now within your directory create a new directory called Images, all lowercase. Select Create. Now we need to go one level up and we will be able to see the directories here. So I need to upload my website here. So what we'll need to do, I need to move this to the side. Let's say that this is my website. My website has multiple HTML pages. Let's save it as HTML. Just going to replicate this. And I'm going to have a directory a folder here called images which will have multiple images let's get some images from the internet make sure we use tools Images, Tools, User Rights, Label for Use with Modification. Just gonna save a couple images here within my images folder. Just gonna call this one. Save images. Just gonna call this two. I click save images and I'm just going to call this three. Go back to my cPanel. Now, if I go back to the file manager, I will be able to see the public underscore HTML. I will be able to see the folder with my name. I will be able to see the files here. In this case, I have not put any files yet. It's going to go to my website. And I'm just going to click on the upload link here. And select, by holding the control key down, I'm just going to select all my HTML files or CSS files or JavaScript files. And click and drag them over here. I'm going to close this window now. I'm going to reload this page. As you can see, I've got all my HTML pages here. Now, if the HTML pages are not named appropriately, I can right click and select rename. And I'm just going to call this about.html. I'm going to right click here, rename. I'm going to call this contact.html. I'm going to right click here, rename. Uh, links.html I'm going to call this um, store or info.html So as you can see I've got my HTML pages here 
So I need to double click to go inside the images folder, click on the upload link, double click on the images folder on my local computer, highlight all the images, then click and drag them over to the server. I'm going to close this once I've got everything 100%. I'm going to close this link, refresh this page, and I've got these images there. Now I've done this, I need to go back to the home directory, double click on the public underscore HTML, and within the index.html page, I need to edit this page. And here we have already one link. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this line and paste it below. And I'm just going to type here my name. Because this is the name of my directory. And here will be the label. Let's, I can put space now. Let's remove the space here. Click Save. Now if I go here and type my URL, we'll be able to see two URLs. If I click here, we'll be able to see the directory here because I do not have an index page. So if I go here now, close, let's close that one. If I double click on my folder, I've got here index.html.txt. So if I right click here, rename, and remove the extension.txt, click OK. If I go now here and refresh the page, it will show me a blank page, which is correct because my index.html has no content yet. So if I go here and select edit, I could put a header tag, let's put HTML tag, and the HTML tag closes. Let's put a title tag, and the title tag closes. Let's put body tag, and the body tag closes. So on the title tag, I'm just going to type my name. Welcome to Ionis website. And within the body tag, I'm going to create a header tag, h1 tag. I'm just going to say, this is Ionis Diesel Group website. Yes, website and then I could put a paragraph tag and I can create some sentence here uh, this website is about Ionis diesel glue dot 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 and I'm just gonna put here control C control V to paste a few times so I can have a, a nice paragraph there size just going to click save. Let's maximize the page here. So if I refresh now my page, I've got my title. The title here says welcome to Ion's website. I've got the header tag here and then I've got my content. So as you can see, you can actually edit your website by using the cPanel. So if you forgot something, once you have uploaded your website, you can always go right click on the HTML page and select edit, select edit and then edit the HTML page further. Hope you've learned something new today. Thank you for watching.